Hello guys, I am back. We are gonna continue with Crash 4 now. I finally got my voice back. I I feel good enough to play. Although I might... I'm a little worried about getting into a coughing fit, but... I'm, I'm not gonna try and worry too much about it. Let's just start this world and we'll take on Dr. Engine. the rifts? Correct. Now my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show, <laughs> Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. Ah, the backstage pass for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. Come ready to wreck it. All right, there's, uh, in case you couldn't tell already, there's going to be a lot of, uh, fourth wall self-aware humor. Some of it's pretty good. Oh, and here's, uh, Lanny Loli's ability once again. It switches phases between, uh, certain things. This case, it would be these boxes, but I'm not going to risk it. My goal is to just focus on getting to the end of the level. So along this level, you'll see some megaphones here, and uh, Dr. Engine's gonna make his little taunts and announcements. But you can cut him off by uh, just spinning into it, like so. Alright. Sorry, little crab. Doesn't really do anything either, but... Might as well send you flying. So I can do this, and then switch phases so you don't have to worry about taking damage from the TNT. I'm just gonna be patient with these sand sharks. Now go. I've never- I don't know if I've uh, ever hit all of them at once. I don't know if you get some special achievement or not. Probably not, but I'm still gonna try anyways. Only thing I don't know is how do I set off the nitro with these phases. There must be an exclamation box somewhere, maybe near the end of this level. Boom. Come on. There we go. That's how you do it. Uh, as you can see, we're gonna be riding the rails pretty soon. There's, uh... There's one difficult part to this level. When you ride the rails. Alright. Now we got all those boxes. Let's ride this rail. You can jump on these, and you can also do a little bit of hanging out. Oh, I pressed B one too many times. Come on. 
Oh, I did it again. And I got the life too. <sighs> oh, that's just frustrating. And there we go. We did it. <sighs> Alright. Actually, just... Yeah, just do that. Just to be safe. <sighs> Alright. Let me try and get these carefully. I appreciate the little circle at the bottom to... Let you know where you land. <sighs> Why am I not jumping over? There we go. Go on. Oh, crap. Alright, go back up. And then... There we go. So, let's do the bonus level now. Oh, and we got Lanny Loli's ability to work with. Do this carefully. <sighs> there we go. Let's try this now. Do this, so you don't have to worry about the TNT damage. And then switch. Perfect. This will get a little difficult, though. Two, three, four, five. <gasps> oh, that was too close right there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, body slam from the top ropes. I don't even watch wrestling, but I know that at least. And that's how it's done. We got ten lives. Alright, here's engine again. See, I was about to go straight, but I did notice this barrel over here. That's just... What a waste. Stupid mistakes like that. I was gonna say... There's a barrel over here. And I've never seen this before the first time around, so... I wanna explore this. All right. Do your thing, minion. Take your time. All right, so that's where that goes. That was pretty cool. Uh. All right. Another megaphone down. Do you think, Sand Shark? I know you're there. Then boom. Oh, did I do enough for a hidden gem? Oh, or they do they not have hidden gems? I completely rushed that. Get this. I didn't even know that was there. Crawl through. It's pretty big talk for, uh, 
boss that's not too difficult. <gasps> Crap. There we go. Going up. Like so. Oh, good thing that wasn't to my death. Wait, do the B... Why can't I reach that? You know what? I'm just gonna skip it. Alright, looks like you don't get anything special for destroying all the megaphones. Let's see. Oh yeah, it was based on Wumpa Fruit Collection. That's uh that's how they do the gems in this game. Now I remember. Let's keep this going. We got Crash Compactor next. All right. Oh. So uh those little uh those was those were one of the hidden tapes uh, for the cortex levels, the with a little bit of story behind it. Uh, how I interpret the cortex levels is uh, cortex is observing his uh, creation, which is crash, and just studying his movements and how he reacts to Wumpa fruit. Ooh. And there we go. Checkpoint number one. Oh, wait. Gotcha. This is getting me excited for, uh... Crash Team Rumble. I, for I wanted to make a reaction video at the time to the news because it was the first time I ever watched the Game Awards and of course they made an announcement for a new Crash game coming out and it's looking an awful lot like uh, Pokemon Unite which worries me a little bit because uh, I, I kind of got bored with Pokemon Unite already. In case you couldn't tell on my channel, I completely stopped uploading it, because... Yeah, you you get new characters, and but you didn't really get new stages to play on. It, not really creative game modes. I'm hoping with the... Oh. You're lucky I'm being polite to you, Dr. Engine. I'm hoping, uh, based on the trailer, it looked like the levels were more dynamic, meaning there was a switch you could press, and, like, the stage would move around. I was hoping the Crash Team Rumble would be like Crash Bash. That's what I was really hoping for, uh, so I was unfortunately let down a little bit, but... I'm still going to get the game, for, and I want to show you guys, too. I'm hoping that it turns out better than my expectations right now. I'm s There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, I remember this big guy now. Um, there we go. I didn't even notice this over here. All right, one more. Now, do this again. <laughs> Just make it quick. I I got you, Doctor Engine. 
Not to worry about that. Let's do this bonus level now. Let's do this nice and carefully. Up the stairs. Wait. There we go. Oh crap, I'm making this more difficult. Oh, I just did it. One, two, three, four. Next. And next. And done. Just don't screw this up. Alright, so that reveals the other remaining boxes in this bonus level. I just realized the problem, I took out all the boxes before me, so I'm kind of stuck. I have to end the level. That bouncing block's going to do nothing to help me. Alright. There you go. Alright. We got some more, uh, phase jumping to do. Ooh, carefully. Can I go this way? I forget. Oh, yes I can! Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna risk it. I nearly just got torched. Alright, that spike ball's nothing. We'll get to ride that soon enough. Oh, I thought we were... Stupid mistakes, I forgot. I thought we were going down, and, and there's legit an arrow telling me to go across, too. Oh yeah, sure it will. Alright, this is where things get a little tricky. I jumped right into that, and of course I was at the end too. That's just great. All right, it's a good thing I got 12 lives. Let it bounce, now go. Wait for the flamethrow this time. And now, let's get out of here. I don't know what happened there, but just end the level. <laughs> All right, not bad. Three gems. Let's keep going. Alright, here's where the path's gonna split. Rewind time back to the 90s. Play flashback tapes to experience Crash and Coco's training in Neocortex's test chambers. Uh, oh, should I? Yeah, I'll do this level. Then I'll go back. And then uh, if I fail that flashback tape... We'll just face Dr. Engine. That's that's my plan. Oh, I think this is the the chase level, if I remember correctly. Hang on. <sighs> 
I could have handled that better. I could have. But I didn't. I missed the stupid jump. Just keep going. <sighs> really? There we go. Oh, yep, now I remember. We're gonna get to ride that little spike ball these, uh... Little rock star minions are, uh... Currently using. Oh, I got a little too cocky, I'm not gonna lie. And then... I pressed... I was trying to press jump, I swear I was. <sighs> slow it down. Slow it down. You're rushing this. Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't do enough for the flashback tape. Let's at least do the bonus level. Oh, great. Alright. Luckily, Crash is a... Pretty far jumper. Very athletic. I should have known that was gonna happen, but I didn't. Just stupid mistakes. I gotta clean that up. I'm trying to f go across. There we go. Can I do this? Nope. Can I do this? Alright, that works. Um. Oh, I double jumped too quickly there. That's just... Ugh. Last try. There we go. We did it correctly this time. I didn't let the TNT blow up. I lost out on two boxes there. Ugh. Just keep going. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, crap. Oh, I got saved there completely. Nice try, big guy. Thank you, checkpoint. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Get back on. 
Wait, wait, wait. Alright, good. The next checkpoint. Alright, welcome back, Lanny. Oh, no. Alright. Oh, good thing that gave me enough time to get back down, uh, back, um, back up. I just noticed the hidden gem on up top there. Right beside me, literally. Just not beside Crash. That blows. I meant to jump, and of course my finger slips on the B. <gasps> of course. I gotta save these lives for the final chase. Come on, it's a simple rope swing. And now phase. <laughs> Gosh. Of course, I finally get across it. And I still die. Alright. Crawl under. I'm not risking it with that flamethrower. Nope. Oh, those little hidden traps. It's just... I can't scream. I'm gonna start coughing. Ugh. Oh. Oh, come on. Do your thing, flamethrower. Crawl under. And we're home free, right? Pretty much. Oh, here we go. Here's the chase. It's that... It's that monster truck from, uh... Crash Warped. There we go. Let's go. This was a pretty cool chase, too. I like this one. Even though I should be jumping over the puddles. Oh, and the spikes. Oh, crap. Oh. Alright, we survived chase number one. But Dr. Engine's gonna come back. Come on. I missed some boxes, I think. Oh! I'm making my jumps. Oh, I missed two boxes. It should still count, though. <laughs> and there we go. The level is done. Fun chase. We got close, but not close enough to getting all the boxes. Alright, now, let's... Uh, take a look at one of the flashback tapes We're gonna try it out a couple times if I can complete it great if I don't 
We'll move right along. We'll go take on Dr. Engine after. Oh, I realize I had a platform still. I, I love this dialogue with these flashback tapes. And a decent camera angle, too. Alright. First set is done. Oh, crap. I screwed up my momentum. <sighs> Come on. I know I missed one box, and that's gonna kill me a little bit, but let's just try and get to the end. Pretty cool story. That was my mistake. All right, my last attempt. If I die, we'll go back to the main story. There was no way I was making that. All right, let's go back. Let's focus on the main boss here. Dr. Engine's stave di stage dive level. Music-based level, it's... I like it, but it's easy. All right, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait. I was expecting those little discs to jump over. I'm j getting a little ahead of myself. Oh wait, we do this. All right, so now we gotta race up there. We have 14 seconds. If you don't hit him, If you don't hit them, then you have to start over. Not from... I was supposed to crouch. Not from the beginning. If you miss the time, you just gotta do it again. Crouch. And then take you out. Come on. Crouch. Where's the next minion? I missed! Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. I slid instead of crouched. That's just great. Well, it, this does give me a moment to at least appreciate the drum work. The rock music. Whatever you want to call it. Come on. There we go. 
Gotta get up there again. There we go. It's gonna get a little bit more difficult now. Alright, one more hit. Oh, great. I forgot to mention the little circles below Dr. Engine's health. It represent represents how many hits you have to take to break the speakers. Come on, one more. And there it is. <sighs> I can't scream. I, <laughs> I'll start coughing if I do. <sighs> as much as I want to. <sighs> Come on, send the last minion. Jeez, I'm cutting it close. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, crap. I messed up. All right, let's try this again. Let's let's do this correctly this time. Likewise. Oh crap! This is the most difficult part to this boss. I gotta hop my way over to the rock, the minions, and get them that way. Gotta play a little bit of complex Frogger, if you will. One more hit. Come on. Please. Please spawn. Please spawn. Yes. Alright. This will be the most difficult obstacle course, too. <sighs> Don't screw this up. It's Treat this like Frogger. Oh, you gotta get going now. Um. Okay. Cutting it close, but I did it. And there's Akano, the second mask to this game. <laughs> and off we go to save Akano. All right, and with that, <coughs> oh, excuse me, see, I've been talking too much. And with that, we are now at the next world. It is called, oh, Booty Calls, of course. Uh, we'll meet Akano in this world, and we'll see the next boss to this game as well. So with that, I'm going to call it for today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and it's good to be back.